that I was bitching in the ash. Lisa, are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool! Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering... Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order, but unfortunately we've run completely dry and the delivery from the winery is behind schedule. If it's not too much trouble, could you go and do something about this logistical nuisance? What's so urgent about this order? <sighs> it came in at the last minute. Literally just a few seconds ago. Exactly. Hence the urgency. disappeared too. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough. And all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by hilly churls. <sighs> if you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a hilly churl exterminator extraordinaire! Just as well. Then please escort this transporter to the end of the road. And be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the hilly churls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact because I certainly don't have the mora to replace them. I'll be waiting up ahead. I don't 
deal with them in time. Thank you, my friend. I thought I was in deep trouble this time. It's a good thing you showed up. I'll put in a good word for you with the gentleman at the winery. Yours is the cat that went missing. Venti! Have you come to help? Me here to help you? Why, on the contrary. It is I who needs the helping. But Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron strings. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free-spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right. Indeed. <sighs> Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite. Quite. <clears throat> now. Let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness, Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animo energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to carry. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings contain animal energy? That'll help us! It's time for you to use your elemental sight again! I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something! Oh, thank you all. Prince should be somewhere around the marketplace. It's a black cat you're looking for. Oh, take this fish. It's Little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Prince should be somewhere... Fifteen... Sixteen... Come take a look! There will definitely be something that catches your eye.
Hey, look! Over there! It looks just like the cat Margaret was describing. So it must be Prince, right? Wow, Prince has very keen senses. It didn't take much to scare him off. See if you can approach him crouching from behind. That way your footsteps will be quieter. It must be difficult not being able to float. If you're anxious to find Prince, why not coax him to you with some fish? Kitty cats do love eating fish. If you run out of fish, go grab some from the lake. Now back to it! Hmm, his senses are keener than we thought. He can't have gone far though. Why not track him with your elemental sight? Next time, try creeping up from behind. Quietly, of course. Or, if you're feeling patient, use some fish as bait and catch him off guard! My prince, I knew you'd come home to me. <sighs> After all that searching... Oh, princey, how could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. Look at you. <laughs> Did prince take you on a bit of a wild goose chase then? <laughs> Cheer up. Even if you didn't catch him, he's back here thanks to you! Oh, and he still has the Astral Iron Strings with him! I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude! <laughs> uh, uh, what? Uh, 
<coughs> Apologies. At this distance, my cat allergy seems to be rearing its head. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself? <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. Uh, 